I broke both my tibia and my fibula um, and completely in half, so I completely dislocated my foot from my leg. And they gave me uh, 13 screws and a, about a five or a six inch plate to put my bones back together. I went through all the therapy and all the treatment for that. And then the ankle never quite felt exactly right, um, but it started swelling uh, and having a lot of pain. I ended up having a surgery where they removed all of the hardware uh, from my right ankle. Uh, and even after that surgery though, after that healing time went by, it still wasn't really quite right. And I found that every single day, I kid you not, every step I thought about my ankle. Um, and when, you're, when that's all you're thinking about, you're not enjoying the moment. All you're thinking about is, well, is this the step that sets off a series of problems for me. You start thinking about the things you can't do, and now your life becomes about the things you can't do as opposed to the things that you want to do. You don't um, dream about doing things. We had the MRI, and of course, we found a very large area of dead bone, and we found this damage to my cartilage surface. I'm an attorney, and the type of work I do is, is personal injury and workers' compensation, so I see a lot of injuries, and I also see a lot of um, fixes and I come across Dr. Kevin Stone. And I'm reading his stuff and I'm thinking, well, this is crazy. This guy's done this 20 years ago because he has long-term studies. And he's talking about cartilage grafts and the different things that he was able to do and the different really good outcomes that he had. But I talked to three really good surgeons in Nebraska. I talked to this surgeon here. I look at the Mayo Clinic and I'm shocked that there aren't more doctors doing this. But in my discussions with him, my understanding was next procedure would end up being an ankle fusion. I have seen people with ankle fusions. I have seen what happens to their legs and I, you see the atrophy that comes into play. I didn't want that for my life. I finally uh, looked up Dr. Stone. I went through his process of getting a free consultation and I thought, well, maybe he'll give me a sale. You know, you, you worry about people giving a sale sometimes like, oh yes, this will be great, grand and glorious. And he just very humbly said to me, David, I think we can save your ankle. And I knew. So I came to California to get my ankles fixed. He had plates and screws placed by his orthopedic surgeon and unfortunately developed what's called avascular necrosis or death of the bones around the ankle joint. He required extensive cartilage grafting, both from the knee and the hip to try to restore the dead bone around the ankle joint and to restore and try to regrow missing articular cartilage. He's still a work in progress since it's only been a period of months now since his ankle procedure, but he's been walking, he has improved motion, diminished pain, and is optimistic as we are for preserving his ankle for the future. He's been coming in for two sessions every day, an hour and a half of table work in range of motion, manual therapy, and then going through another 45 minutes of a full body workout. It's a lot of hard work. Um, it takes a lot of discipline. Um, and him doing that so early on and being ready for that day two, day three has just exponentially made his ability to recover mentally, physically, emotionally that much better. Don't get me wrong, I'm not an exercise person. I'm not a sports person like some of the people who come and get treatment here. Before I had my injury, I hated running. Now, I honestly, I look forward to doing it, even though I don't like the activity. When you finally get to the point of, hey, you can't do this, you suddenly want to do it. I just want to play soccer with my kids again. And that's one of those activities that, um, that I used to do before the injury. I can't do now, but uh, I will do again someday. It was like a breath of fresh air because finally the opportunity to dream again, to think about the things I want to do, to think about the things that can be instead of can't be.